What's up, guys? Orange my dingy tea on this Saturday. So, you know, my morning meditations, I'm just going to share with you guys my morning meditations. And, uh, you know, I interact with some of you guys on uh, YouTube and some other platforms. And uh, I get a kick out of everybody. It's, everybody is so interesting, right? Everyone is like the salt of the earth. If you, um, if you can't appreciate the world that we live in, it's just, it's not worth threatening. It's, it's like a big playground. Um everybody's at a different level, right? There's uh, people that have, uh, even in the psychic community, right? There's lots of different psychics and, um, you know, depending on your, where you're at on your journey, you're pulled into different kinds of trauma and, and drama, <laughs> but the, the, the drama is always kind of in the background. If you're moving forward, um, if you're caught up in any kind of drama with what somebody's got going on, then you're, you're kind of pulled into that kind of like karmic cycle, if that makes sense. So if somebody's pulling into any kind of energy where they're, you know, feel like you need them or, you know, trying to control you in any way, move on. That's my advice. For one thing, their inner child isn't unlocked, right? They haven't healed. They haven't taken the time to heal, heal their inner child. It makes, and uh, so their self-worth is a little messed up, right? Because, uh, they feel like they need some external gratification from someone else to make them feel better. It, you have to get to a place where you can be completely isolated, completely by yourself and be totally fine. Right. I don't need anything or anybody just go out and play because I could meet anybody and play with them. Right. If you don't want to play with me and you want to feed off of me, well, I mean, I'll help you. I've made more than willing to help you and I'm compassionate for you because I've been through that, right? Uh, where you feel like you got to, you know, feed off of the people around you because you're going through some kind of trauma. It's like, hey, I need help. Ah, But, you know, it's all a process of just letting go and letting your inner child out and healing because a lot of times, you know, you just have to lay down and, and just get rid of negativity. And I want to throw this by you guys you know i talk about money all the time on this uh my channel here but you know the reality is is money is just a lower it's just a lower uh, energetic way of feeding off of each other right because you're not really providing for each other you know without any expectation of return now you you can feed off of the people around you or you can just provide for each other you know and uh imagine what kind of society that would look like for one thing I work a 40 hour a week job and I think all of you can agree that on most jobs, even if you're working 40 hours a week, the actual work that you do in a 40, 40 hour a week is like maybe five hours at most, right? Now there's some jobs out there where you actually go to work, but I mean, between break times and lunch times and you get, you know, you get to work, you kind of get to where you need to, you know, you settle down and you start working. You know, a lot of times you do 45 minutes worth of work and then you take a break and then you do another hours worth of work and then you take lunch. And I mean, it gets, especially on maintenance jobs, you know, maintenance jobs are just like, it's just, I think in a 40 hour week on average, I would work maybe three to four hours, you know, on a maintenance job. The most I ever worked was probably a residential construction environment where I was, you know, you go out there and you hump because you, you have to, if they're spec homes, you know, they're pretty tightly bid. So you have to get out there and, and work. And I appreciate a day's work. But the reality is, is, you know, if we got rid of all that system, the financial system, and we just provided for each other the way that we felt like we were made to, um, on average, we probably work 15 hours a week. And the rest of the time we'd have to ourselves to just, and use the earth as a playground. We would turn this place into a living playground. So from now on, I'm just going to bash money because money creates a judgment in your mind that you need to, it's a lower nature that you need to feed off of the people around you. It's like, well, I'll do this for you if you give me this. It's like, eh, you're trapped in some kind of lower consciousness, right? You're trapped in a lower mindset. You're not letting your inner child out. Just create right? Create what you want to create. Put the, the energy that you put out there is what you get back. And then you work, you're working with the divine that way because 
if your inner child is out and you're just trying to make people happy, then that's coming from God, right? The rest of the time, you're just trying to feed off each other. And that's just a lower nature. That's just devil energy, right? It's just, it's succubus energy. Think about that for this weekend. Think about how you can relax and let your inner child out. So always try and do that. And sometimes it's a long process because, and you have to create a lot of faith that everything's going to be okay when you do that. But the more you do that, and the more you heal, and the more you take time for yourself and realize that all that drama and all that BS, you know, that maybe you left, hey, look, I'm, I'm getting the raised hand thing. <laughs> all that BS that, you know, is in life. It, it, it's all just trauma that has been created on purpose by somebody that wants to control you right? Because that dollar bill is someone else's God and they want you to worship it so that you are controlled by it and what you do in this life. So think about that. Love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I don't know if we'll be on here tomorrow. I, I could make videos about anything, right? Start playing around on, uh, under a waterfall. You guys might see me anywhere. I don't know. Love you.